Hey, Zach here from Frontenac Outfitters Canoe and Kayak Center. Today, we're having a look at the Novacraft Prospector 16. The Prospector series from Novacraft, based on the original chestnut design, uh, pretty classic design, iconic Canadian design when it comes to canoes. This is the 16 we're looking at particularly, but it's also available in a 15, a 17, and also an 18 foot length if you're looking for a really big multi-day expedition boat. The Prospector is one of those canoes that kind of does everything well, it's the jack of all trades. We'll do a quick walkthrough. We'll kind of show you some of the features on this canoe from Novacraft, flip it over, have a quick look at the hull and give you an idea of what the performance will be like on this guy. Starting up at the bow here, we have our little eyelets here so you can attach a painter line to um, or your tie downs for when you're, when you're transporting the canoe. Pretty handy little feature uh, that can obviously be installed uh, at the factory, can be installed after the fact as well if you have a canoe at home and you want to add something like that. Generally going to be cleanest done at the factory uh, at the time of, of build. The end caps on these, love what they've done with it. Just the, you know, kind of attention to detail. They've got the logo stamped into it. I think just makes it look really, really sharp. All the way down, we've got anodized black aluminum gunnels on both sides. Nice, rigid, heavy duty gunnel that doesn't have a ton of weight and super low in maintenance. We've got ash trim in this boat. Uh, we've got our grab handle here at, at the front. So our carry handle, uh, you know, you can use this to as an, a bit of an attachment point too for, for uh, you know, loading things into the canoe. The nice thing about these deep gunnels is if you want to add uh, airbag cages and stuff for whitewater, uh, that can be done. This canoe is done in the tough stuff layup, so it's an Enegra basalt layup. You know, they do kind of rate it for, for more easier whitewater. I wouldn't necessarily want to, you know, go full bore into, uh, into you know, some heavy duty rapids, but certainly for easier point and shoot style rapids, uh, easier river trips, this is going to be a great canoe to do it. As we come back, we've got the web seat done in ash again, corded seat. Uh, really nice, unique look to it. So Ash is a product that you're going to see a lot in traditional canoe builds. It is becoming more expensive and a little more rare uh, due to uh, the emerald ash borer, which seems to be taking out a lot of ash tree populations. But the beauty of Ash is it's a very dense wood uh, that doesn't have a lot of weight to it. So it creates, it has really good properties for things that we want out of, you know, particular components of a canoe, like rigidity and stiffness. Move further back here, we've got our custom deep dish yokes. Uh, it has a little notch in here, uh, which is just for that little kind of spot on a lot of people's spine on that upper spot where the canoe just loves to sit. By notching that out there, it just helps relieve any kind of pinch point. So on those longer, heavier portages, this is going to be a fairly comfortable canoe to carry. The Enegra Tough Stuff layup, as this one is, is gonna weigh in around 55, 56 pounds, depending on features. That's kind of an average weight. They can get about as low as 45 pounds from Novacraft, and that's gonna be in one of their clear coat ultralight layups. As we move further back, we have our standard thwart here. Not necessarily a kneeling thwart. Uh, this is here gonna be here for structural integrity, just to help kind of hold all the, the things together um, and give the, the boat some structural strength in the lateral here. Move further back, we've got our stern seat, same as the bow seat, obviously a little bit narrower. All the way at the back here, again, we have another carry handle, uh, and then our flotation tanks, which we didn't mention. We have one at the front and the back. The idea of these here is they're pockets of air, so that if the canoe capsizes, these little pockets of air are going to give the canoe lots of flotation so that it can be flipped back over, a self-rescue could be performed, or we can get the canoe back to shore and get it properly drained out. Again, we've got our end caps here and then our little eyelet at the back. The shape of this canoe is what we would call a symmetrical canoe. And what that means is it's the center of the canoe is the widest part and we have an equal amount of rocker going from the bow to center and then from the center to the stern. So that rocker, that banana shape to the boat is the same on both ends. It also utilizes a shallow arch hull. And what that means is the hull shape is, is not flat. It has a bit of a curvature to it coming up into the side chines of the profile of the canoe. The shallow arch hull really absorbs rough water and white water incredibly well. And that's why it's kind of a preferred design because it is actually more forgiving in rough conditions because it has this property of wanting to kind of always self right itself. When we look at the, the hull here, you can see that it's definitely not a flat bottom. It has this ability to really shift its weight from edge to edge. Uh, and that's honestly, it's a great benefit when you're paddling in rougher conditions with a loaded canoe or, you know, paddling in moving water. You can see the rocker on the canoe. So that banana shape 
starts uh, probably right around here and starts to gradually taper out into that full rocker. We're probably looking at about an inch and a half to two inches of pronounced rocker. So if we were to set this canoe flat on the ground, measure from the ground up to the, the tip of the, uh, or up to the bottom of the, the canoe, we'd be looking at probably about an inch and a half. What's the benefit of that? Well, it shortens the water line and gives us the ability to turn the canoe easier. So canoes that are gonna be longer with less rocker are generally gonna go a bit faster, but they're gonna be harder to turn and maneuver. Canoes like this that have you know, still a good amount of water line, they're gonna carry a decent amount of hull speed, but they're also gonna be easy to maneuver. So if you're in tighter, shallower rivers and that type of thing, something with a little bit more rocker and less length is gonna be a benefit. And that's where the prospector really shines. It's the jack of all trades, performs really well in all conditions. Uh, and if you're looking for kind of one canoe that, that does everything fairly well, I would say the prospector is what you want to be looking at. So the tough stuff layup from Novacraft is what is a material called Innegra Basalt, which is somewhat new in the canoe world. Uh, not super new, but you know, within the last 10-ish years, it's become more mainstream. Starting to see a lot of canoes being made out of this material. And one, well, it's tough. It is a really good fabric to, to build uh, canoes out of. It has great properties in the sense that it's fairly lightweight, uh, has great flexibility so it can absorb impacts really well, and it also wears really well. It doesn't absorb water and it doesn't fuzz up like uh, traditional Kevlar can. Uh, it's maybe not quite as light as Kevlar, but I think, you know, there's some real serious benefits as to, you know, why we would use a Negro Basalt over using a, a compound like Kevlar. This canoe here, uh, it does have some, some small ribs uh, for structural integrity built into the sides. And then it also has a foam core center built out through the center, again, to provide uh, integrity and structure all through the hull as opposed to having separate rib systems all throughout it. So what it does is just creates a really nice uniform platform all the way throughout uh, with out the need of separate ribs. The overall capacity on this boat is rated at about a thousand pounds. Personally, I think that's probably a little high compared to other canoes that are on the market. Uh, I would say a safe working load is probably gonna be the 800 to 900 pound range. So there's only so much I can show you in an online review. We can talk specs all day long. At the end of the day, what's really important and I think is actually testing canoes out before you make that purchase. And that's where Frontneck Outfitters can really help you out. Our expert team here would be happy to make recommendations for you, take you out on the water with a couple of different canoes to test paddle so you can make the decision for yourself. We are able to make custom orders with Novacraft. If you have any questions, or if you want to take one for a test bottle, get in touch with us. You can, for more information, you can check them out online at frontnackoutfitters.com. Thanks for watching.